good morning it is a friday today i think this is the third vlog in a row that i've started here but i kind of like it you're sitting on top of the um kitchen roll and it just seems to be quite a good height for me did i wake you up i'm so sorry the cutest thing happened i was eating my breakfast here this morning spooning my cereal and this tiny little squirrel like runs all the way up the garden onto the decking which he must be new here because that is a very brave move when this killer is on the loose. There's a watering can here on the decking and it's filled up with rainwater and the little squirrel like stands on top of the watering can and I saw his little body go like glug 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 glug. It was so cute. You may be thinking, but Harriet, why are you vlogging on a Friday? Why are you not at work? And that would be a very good question. And the answer to that question is that today is an inset day at school. And usually teachers have to work on inset days. We have to work on the curriculum development or the whatever else you're working on at the moment. However, because of the circumstances and because my school is amazing and really prioritise their staff and care about us so much, we have been instructed to have a wellbeing day today. So something to do with improving our mental health, keeping away from screens, keeping away from emails. And um, that's just a really cool thing to do, I think. So I'm pleased with that. Before I tell you what I'm gonna do for wellbeing day, a few things. My skincare routine that I talked about in my last vlog. So far, I haven't noticed a difference in my skin. However, particularly in the evenings, it does make me feel quite nice and special, like I'm actually caring for myself. So that's quite a nice state of mind to be in. But funnily enough, I was scrolling through the Daily Mail the other day. I, not my preference, but I just, I like the way that the website is laid out. And because I don't have social media, I just got to keep in touch with the world one way or another. And, um, and there was this article about something called maskitis. So people are talking about mask me, mask me, where you're getting like spots on your chin from wearing the mask all the time. But this is something called maskitis. And literally the picture in this looks exactly like what I have around my mouth. Um, it has gone down a little bit since last weekend. I've got to stop touching it. <gasps> also this week, I got a new pair of boots. So cute. These are from Kurt Geiger. I got them on a website called Shoeaholics. They literally arrived in less than 24 hours. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm not going to put them on the table. Um, you might think, but Harriet, these don't really look like a new boot. And you'd be absolutely right. These are a bit out of my comfort zone. However, because I wear stuff like this every day in lockdown, I've made a vow to myself that after lockdown, I am going to dress like the classiest lady you have ever seen. And these are essential to being classy. I can't wait, oh my God, do you know what I can't wait for? When restaurants are back open and I get the train up to London and I go to Elliot's and we get ready and we dress immaculately. And then we go to a really nice restaurant and we order margaritas and bottles of wine and steak and I can't have pudding, but pudding, oh God. That is the thing that I'm most looking forward to. I finished my sixth book of the year last night and considering that it is the 29th of January I would say that that's pretty good going and if I can keep up that pace I'll have read like 60 books. No, wait, I don't know, I'm not good at maths anymore. Ah, too much pressure. So, mindfulness day today. I'm going to do some baking because I kind of got into the baking groove last weekend. I bumped into one of my tutees on a walk the other day and she was delivering some butternut squash brownies, dairy-free butternut squash brownies. Now, if you've been here a while, I used to make courgette brownies for a while and I loved them. Nobody else liked them, but I thought they were really, really good. So uh, I asked her mum for the recipe and uh, today I'm gonna make the butternut squash brownies. I also think I'm gonna make a salted caramel cake inspired by Megan Rinks, although I haven't decided on that one yet. And last but not least, I'm making a snack. Now, a couple of years ago, I went to Luxembourg. Craig was living out there at the time and we went to visit him at Christmas um, and they were selling this particular snack at a market, at, the, at a stall at the Christmas market. Now, what it is, is grated potato deep fried and then you serve it with an apple sauce and you like dip them in an apple sauce if you are from luxembourg i would like to apologize um this snack is called grumper kitchelcher this word has 18 letters and i definitely didn't pronounce that right grumper kitchelcher grumper kitchelcher 
Grandpa Kichalcha. Grandpa Kichalcha. So that's the two things I'm definitely going to make. Grandpa Kichalcha. Grandpa Kichalcha. And the <laughs> butternut squash brownies. Maybe a cake as well, thinking about it. As usual, I have to go down to Sainsbury's. I don't think a day goes by where I don't go to Sainsbury's, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm surprised they don't know me by name in there, actually. I'm back from Sainsbury's. This is the order of service today. Butternut squash brownies first. Ease myself in easily. Chocolate cake. I'm gonna go full ham on this chocolate cake. I'm gonna try and do the thing where you do the icing, like you do the crumb layer and you ice the whole cake. I don't know, maybe. And um, and then, a bit later on, I'm gonna do the grom... Grom Prekisosa. This is how the butternut squash brownie mixture is looking. I would say this is quite liquidy, more liquidy than I'm used to for a brownie mix, but we'll trust the process, trust the process. These are going in the oven for 20 minutes, and then we'll see what we what we got. And I just have to uh, check it's not poisonous, as usual. <coughs> oh my god, that's delicious. Brownies are out of the oven, and they need to cool for about an hour, apparently, but that's looking good. Really yummy. And then I've got my chocolate cake, which is ready to go in the oven now. And I have high hopes for this too. And um, I just need to check that this one's not poisonous. Mmm. <coughs> oh my god, this one's even better than the last one. If and when I ever have children and I do baking with them, I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of really complex lie as to why they can't eat the cake mixture. And although it is a highlight of my childhood, I just don't think I'm willing to give up the cake mixture for my kid. Why don't you go and play? Mummy will do the washing up. <laughs> Could you just notice while you're here? Ding! 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 How tidy you are. Ding! <laughs> right, 25 seconds. Craig said who's going to eat these cakes, and he makes a good point. Don't make things that you can't eat. Neighbours? Yeah. Louise? Yeah, I've got some up. Do you want to do the skewer? Quick, all the way in, all the way out. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh sh hello. That's a bit. How? Oh, I mean, whoops. How's that happened? Check that one again. Fill in some fun. How does that happen? The same size tin? I don't like when things like that are supposed to be the same are not the same. Mm. <gasps> okay, both of my chocolatey bakings are cooling and although we're not going to have the potato things until a bit later on, I thought I would make the apple sauce that goes with them. Of course I could have bought an apple sauce but I thought it would be way more fun to make it. And also it's served cold, the apple sauce, so I can make it at any point and it should be fine. Okay, that's how that's looking. So I think that my apple sauce is done. I'm just gonna give it a little taste to see if it needs any sugar. Oh, oh, that's really sour. Oh, mm, I wish I hadn't put the lemon in. I put more sugar in, I can put more sugar in. I'll take the lemon out. I just turned my brownie out of the uh, the pot, and this is satisfying. <gasps> Yum! My cake has cooled, so I'm gonna do the icing now. Okay, this icing looks ridiculously good, and it's not only got cocoa powder in it, but actual dark chocolate as well. <gasps> and actually, I think I've got enough here to do the the whole cake icing thing, so we'll see. Oh my God, okay, so I've iced my cake and I made way too much icing. It's covered the entire cake and I've still got like a quarter of the um, mixture left. Now, you may think I'm gonna go away and eat this now, but I'm not an animal and I don't wanna have a heart attack, so I'll probably just have a few spoonfuls of it. But that cake looks amazing. Uh, the only thing is I didn't get any decoration for it, so now it just looks like a big cow pat. Oh well. It'll be eaten before long anyway. <gasps> Delish. I've chopped my brownie up and I've I've made some little parcels for the neighbours. How is it? <laughs> Mum says it's very moist. It's really moist. Can you take taste the butternut squash? Not at all. They're very rich though, aren't they? 
You couldn't eat more than one. I stuck to the roof of my mouth. Oh, nice. And what do you think about my cow pack cake? I love that. I've used two of my upcycled Christmas card tags to uh, put little notes about what they are. How sweet are they? Mum and I are just heading out on our daily wood walk and actually it's very mild today and the sun is out, which is nice. We don't always go when it's sunny, but today, I don't think you're gonna need a coat. You know we always get hot. Mum and I have been back from our walk for a while now and I'm about to start on the potato food. <laughs> Grand Prix Kisser, sir. I don't want to keep trying to say it because I feel like I'm um, offending people. Basically what it is, is potatoes, onion, parsley, eggs, flour, put into patties and shallow fried in, oh, mum went and got me vegetable oil, that's good, um, in vegetable oil. And then we have that with the apple sauce from earlier, so hopefully they go well. This is how it's looking, which I think is correct, fingers crossed. I don't know if I ever vlogged about this at the time, but in the first lockdown, we built, well, I mean the neighbour, built a bar over our fence that meant that we were socially distanced, but we could have drinks in the evening in the summer. And since the summer, we haven't done that, but we were thinking tonight, because we haven't seen them in ages, we thought, why don't we have a catch up over the fence? So we're having like a, because it's cold, we thought we'd make like a cozy ski evening vibe. So we've got mulled wine, we're gonna have these Luxembourgish cuisines. It's Grand Prix Kisser, sir. Um, I've got my cakes and stuff that they can have as well, but um, yeah, we're sitting on our side of the fence and they're on their side. And I'm the chef for the night. In the first three are in. I've got this one like full because you know how our fire alarm gets. Oh my God, it's working! Yay! I love it when things work. <laughs> first batch are out and what I'm gonna do is Go and give these to those guys now. I'm going to cut them in half. We're going to do a trial, like check that all the potato in the middle's cooked. And then if these are good, then I'll do the uh, the rest of them. <laughs> we are back in now and mum's just lit a fire for us in the lounge. In terms of the... Oh God. It's Grand Prix Kisser, sir. The potato food. The first batch were not great. They were very dense and not very seasoned. But I, I did a little batch. I took them out. I asked for feedback. I came back in. I made them three times. And by the third time, I think that they were perfect. They tasted just like the Luxembourg ones. So I would consider that a success. And I've got some leftovers for tomorrow as well, which is good and something to look forward to. I don't think we're gonna do anything else today. I think we'll probably watch a few episodes of Shit's Creek before bed. So thanks very much for watching this vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.